be followed by Clark and Dave Winfield. Thought you can do about it. High fly ball and deep to left field. Goodbye. Jay Gunner has tied this ball game. Gunner's first home run. Two fastball right there from Kurt Young, and I mean he put the hammer down. Way single to left. Drove in a run and balls one strike. Fastball hit the right field and deep. Orschlag going back, way back. It's gone. There it is. Buehler one for one. He had a base hit also back in the second inning. That's gone. See you later. He just ran back and hit one on. That was a rocket. It left here in straight away for the Mariner right fielder. Swings, hits this one deep to center field, way back. It is gone. Grand slam for Buehler. And we're tied at five. That was a laser. by Buhner we talked about earlier. No doubt about that one. That's way out of here. We're tied at five. 417 feet on the homer by Jay Buhner. Greg Myers came off. Chili with a leg injury. High pitch ripped to right. Buhner back. Looks up. It's over his head. Hits the wall. Myers is headed for second. The throw by Buhner. He is out at second base. The tag Soho Myers a two out single he is thrown out Buter to Soho to end the inning after half an inning the Angels nothing and the Mariners coming up what most young players do that's drilled into the corner and right Martinez the catcher has one he's going to try for two here comes the Buter throw and he is out by a mile that's an example of the rookie not knowing the arm of Jay Buhner and right. Give him a single. And Buhner with an outfield assist guns him out. Nine to six. And the inning is over. No runs. One hit. Nobody left. We go to the bottom half of the fourth. It's Toronto three. Seattle one. Change up as we found out. Three and two count. Randy. He'll throw a lot of change ups. And he can get it over. Fastball belted deep to left field. Where did the track the wall? It's three to one. Jay Buhner with 40 home runs on closing day of the regular season. And you know he wanted to get to 40 and he put it right out in the bleachers. So Jay Buhner with number 40 and RBI 121. And we'd like to remind you that Southwest Airlines provides flights for fans to fly away from Seattle daily. That's a big boost psychologically for the Mariner. They're right back in this game. Three to one contest. When the other team scores, you can come back and put at least one run on the board. Somehow or another, that just seems to keep you very much alive. Well, they all complement each other. That's the great thing about the game of baseball. If one guy doesn't do it, the next guy might. Or if he doesn't, then the following guy. And you have it all the way up in the down the lineup. Buehner may have done it once again. A three-run bomb. <laughs> Seattle Mariners do it in bunches. They had a six-run fourth last night. A four run eight. But yet Maddox is one of those guys and it drives you crazy. And here's a guy that's strictly a challenge talking about Johnson. The 2 2 to Buner. And here's a drive to deep left. And he has rung Nagy up again. 
Whatever it is that Charles Nagy is throwing, Jay Buhner generally finds it to his liking. He hit 40 for the year. That's his second of this series and his seventh counting the playoffs against Cleveland in 95. Al was a hanging breaking ball and, and we said earlier if Nagy stays downstairs he'll have success. This is a high curveball about belt high and Buhner jumps all over it. Watch right here. Oh man. Oh boy. Belt high and no problem. Albert Bell turned around and watched it right out of here. Love to see that yeah. come back. High fly ball to right, and Buner has to sprint over toward the corner, and Jay is there, makes the leap, didn't have to, and gets it back to Gates, the second baseman. Jay may have misjudged that ball just a little bit and still made the catch. Well, it gets kind of crowded down there in that right field corner. But an excellent play by Buner. The first inning for the Mariners, they sent 11 batters to the plate. And scored six. High and deep to right center field. Giles looks up. This one is gone. Awesome power the other way. Buner gets his second in as many days. A two run home run that makes it an 11 0 Mariners lead. That was a no doubter. Well. And look at the swing from Buhner. He knows it as soon as it leaves the bat. It's 11 0 Mariners. Up for Detroit. Fly ball to right field. Down the line. Buhner on the run. Oh, he makes the catch. Sliding on one knee. Battling the raindrops. And in front of the wall, deep in the corner, Jay. Very quickly up with that glove hand. He makes the catch to Rob Nieves of an extra base hit. What a play by Bone. Two outs. You know, that ball was slicing away from him, and I think it came back a little bit. The wind may have, a gust of wind may have brought that ball back to him because he almost overran it. Circle. High and deep into center field. Williams on the warning track. He'll look up, and it is gone. And the Mariners are within one. I was about to say with the power of the Mariners that home run by Tino Martinez in the eighth inning looking bigger and bigger and it certainly does right now. Once again a look at the swing of a classic home run hitter and he knew it his 16th career home run out when uh, he might have a chance tonight maybe that night if the Brewers can take a big lead deep into the ball game. Pitch to Buhner is hit well to right. Mieske's under it. He looks up and this one is gone. Jay Buhner has three hits against Jeff D'Amico in his career. All of them are home runs. All right, not much doubt about that one. As soon as that ball came off his bat you knew it was a home run. 
Jay Buner with some unbelievable power to all fields. He puts just about everything he's got behind that swing. The only but only person who can catch that one is a fan, and he made an error on it. I think Tony's stolen a base in the last five years. That's in the right field. Get up. Buner back. He makes a catch. He's got a gun. And they get him at first. Jay Buner. 66 game airless streak going for him, and that just shows you why he is. Gunner. Tony Pena first got hung out there a little bit in no man's land. Buner, one of the great throwing arms in Major League Baseball. Boy, a perfect strike. One hopper to Paul Sorrento for the double play. Look at the great concentration right here. He knows where that wall is, and he wasn't drifting on that one. He was busting his behind. Here's Mike Bornick. Bornick first pitch swinging, fly ball, barely deep right center field. Buner on the go. He made a spectacular diving grab. Hammonds will tag and score. As all eyes in the Orioles dugout, as well as 35,000 plus here at the Kingdom, checking out Jay Buner. Oh, he laid out and flat out robbed Mike Bornick of potential extra bases. Sparkling grab by Buner. Goes defense to the rescue, certainly by Jay Buner. Didn't appear to get a great jump off the bat. He lost it in this crowd or a white shirt, but certainly makes it up on the end. Outstanding behind him, stretched out. Terrific play. Mike, just take your hat off to him. That's about as good as it gets. Out of 4 0 Boston here as they bat in the bottom of the eighth inning. Hatterberg steps into the first offering by Hurtado, deep out to right field, and gone a home run. They're saying he caught the ball. They're saying he caught the ball. What a catch. Jay Buner. Now that is taking a home run away. Now wait a minute now. We're going to have to get a, I hope we have some kind of shot into that bullpen. That ball looked like it was way over the head of Buner. Luke Kobo, the second base umpire going out with the call. Buner took one away from Stanley earlier. But that was a relatively routine one just reaching in and pulling it back. That one was spectacular which will be on every highlight film all around the country tomorrow if the call stands. Wow what an unbelievable play here. There goes Buna back. And there goes Buner. You see a no big argument either coming from that bullpen. Here's another look at it. Oh what a tremendous play by Jay Buna. Wow. <laughs> a spectacular catch by Buner. Well, he's taken two home runs away from the Red Sox tonight, one from Stanley, but uh, how can you top this play? I don't think you can. You couldn't keep him out of the yeah. cage. Those two guys stand out. Uh oh. That's way back. You can put it on the board. Got ourselves a 2 2 tie. Exactly where Buner wants it. Out over the plate, but thigh high. This is right in his wheelhouse. Cohen has had 10 strikeouts, but only one called third strike. That was Junior. That one is hit a mile. Man, is that one hit. Hello, Canada. Six to three, Seattle. This is what I was talking about earlier. You know, Buner being in the lineup with his 40 home runs would have made some of these games a little wider margin for them. They were only leading by one. This is a hanging curveball, a real hanger. I mean, that is a hanger hanger. And David Cohn knew from the time he hit it. Look at that. He says, I made a mistake. And he really, he really had. Roberto, his one-two pitch to Buner. Swing and a high fly ball hit to right field and deep. And Clyburn goes to the track. The wall fly away. Jay Buner has hit it out. 
a two out, two run home run here in the ninth, and the Mariners take the lead six to four. My, oh my, what a day for Jay Buhner. Two singles, a double, a two run home run, and the Mariners lead it six four.